Bill Aiken from Lincoln Electric and welcome to series two. This is where I'm going to show you all the functions on the front of the panel. In series one we looked at what's in the box and getting started. Over here we have the display for the selection of world modes. As you can see here this is our button for selecting the world mode. We start off with being in synergic mode in a two-stroke function where, where we hold the trigger on we'll have power, where when we release the, the trigger, power is off. Or we can choose uh, to have four step tri trigger, push and release for power on, and push and release for power off. When we're in spot world, we can also have synergic mode. Or we can have non-synergic. In non-synergic, we have to adjust our voltage and our amperage or wire feed speed manually, both in two-stroke and four-stroke. In spot welding function, non, either non-synergic or synergic, the hot start, down slope and sequence and settings are disabled. But we'll talk more about this function in series four. The selector switch for welding processes selects either pulse, speed short arc, short arc also known as steady arc, or stick electrode, DC MMA. Here we have the selection of welding mode. In pulse, which may be used on all types of material, it is particularly suitable for stainless steel and aluminium, eliminating spatter and achieving excellent fusion. Speed short arc, a semi, special semi-controlled short arc for route pass and high travel speed. The speed short arc allows greater versatility in welding carbon steel and stainless steel. The dynamic arc optimises performance in the route pass and absorbs fluctuations in the welder's hand movements. For example, when welding in difficult positions. An increase in wire speed enables entering spray arc without transitioning into globular mode. MIG mode. The speed arc 320CP in short arc has achieved great reduction in spatter when welding carbon steels. It also gives better appearance and improved wet wetting of the molten pool. An increase in travel speed of wire feed speed enables entering spray arc without transitioning into globular mode. DC manual metal arc welding. The machine does not include a manual metal arc lead and they must be purchased separately. The display uh, indicator up here indicates where uh, the amps and volts are recording. The job lead indicator for program mode, when not working in program, the lead indicator will be off. When working in a program mode, the lead indicator will be on. When selecting program and it has been modified, the lead indicator will blink. Our program mode will show pulse, speed short arc, or steady arc, which is short arc, or MMA, manual metallic arc welding. As you can see, our terminals are on. The lead indicator is our program mode. When not working, the, the program lead indicator will be off. When working in programs, the lead indicator will be on. When selecting a program that has been modified, the lead indicator will blink. The encoder for the voltage adjusts your voltage up or down. It also regulates uh, the amount it, and helps you navigate through your configuration mode or your cycle mode. Your voltage encoder will set up your voltage to either reduce it or increase it. It also acts as a navigation plane when you cycle through your configuration mode or your cycle mode. The display mode indicator will allow us to adjust our job either through current, through wire feed speed, 
in metres per minute, all through plate thickness. Here we have our mode set up. We can select what type of gas we like, what type of material we are uh, using, and what diameter wire we're using. The selector switch for setup mode in manual allows us to adjust between configuration mode or cycle mode and no welding will occur in this mode. The selector button for pre-display of current, wire feed speed, material thickness and when in memory management mode PGN yes when used storing to recall or locking programs. Thank you for watching series 2. In series 3 we will go into the configuration menu.